This past weekend, more than 30,000 runners crossed the finish line at the New York City Marathon. One marathon is a big enough deal, but how about running four marathons in four days at the age of 71? The man considered to be the real-life Forrest Gump is the focus of this week's Snapshot New York with Steve Overmeyer. In a few minutes, I'll be starting my 100-mile run. Three marathons here in Center Park around the reservoir. The last leg of my 100 will be during the New York City Marathon. Tom McGrath is a legendary ultra-marathoner. He's run six-day races, even 1,000-mile races, all for charity. Now, at the age of 71, he's doing it one last time. The toughest run of my life. I'm fighting age. The legs are talking to me. What are they saying? That I'm tired. They're getting heavy. And you got to listen to the body. When they talk, you listen. When they start to roar, then you got to double listen. His real running story began in 1977 on his wedding day. I said to my wife-to-be, I'm going to run across America. You got married on a Sunday. You started running the next day. Yeah. What's the symbolism here? A lot of people say, you're a wise man. <laughs> you didn't waste no time. <laughs> Off you go. So he ran. From sea to shining sea, and with him the whole way was his new bride, Mina, because they go together like peas and carrots. During his journey, he spread joy, met some people, and dodged some obstacles. Sometimes he had company, sometimes he was alone. When he got tired, he'd rest. When he got hungry, he ate. But he kept running, all the way into the history books, as the fastest man to run across the USA. Have you broken the record, Tom? Yeah, I broke the record by uh, 12 hours and five minutes, 12 hours and five minutes. Many people consider you the inspiration for Forrest Gump. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm sorry that he didn't call me and ask me permission to run across America. I, if I ever meet him, I'd step him out. <laughs> Tom isn't just a man who tests the limits of human endurance. His is a story of determination and salvation. It's tough for me to say to you, Steve, especially you have been so good to me, that I am a full-blown alcoholic. Running saved my life. I was on my deathbed because of alcohol. How close? A week to 10 days, the doctors told me I would be dead. So at the age of 60, he started running again. The first three legs of his 100-mile run are here at the Reservoir Running Track at Central Park for 25 miles a day, culminating in the New York City Marathon. His runner's high, now reawakened. You're living healthy. You're living the way you're supposed to live. Life, not drinking life, but running life. The high is when you know that you're doing good. It's a permanent high. For decades, he's inspired countless people by running thousands of miles for charity. Tom carried the Olympic torch, threw out a first pitch, and earned his blessings. His finish line treat is a box of chocolates, which he happily shares. He may not be Forrest Gump, but he'd probably be his best good friend. Such a wise man. Right? I want to hear more. I know. Every runner does have a story, I'll tell you. He's got a bunch of them. And if, he just, and if you want to hear more, he just released a new film documenting his life as a runner and overcoming alcoholism. It's called Saved by My Feet. I can't wait to see it. That's going to do it for us here at 5. Thanks for watching. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. The news at 6 starts right now.